Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is Friday, so I'm doing the reveal for my challenge from with Terry Yarn Podcast. I never can word this right. Uh, last week I opened the bag and it was a green sparkly ball of yarn, a brown ball of yarn, a little beaded garland thingy, <laughs> and a jingle bell. So, uh, and most of the comments did say to make a Christmas tree with like the garland around it and a bell on top. And that was my first thought too. Um, because of the colors <laughs> and that's probably t was Terry's idea when she put it in the bag but um my hair's all messed up <laughs> um I don't like doing things that are like the first the, the first idea you get I don't like doing that I like trying to find something more unique or different you know <laughs> so I did try to make another um little amigurumi and he jingles and uh it was meant to be a bear but after I put it together it kind of looks like another mouse <laughs> But, uh, anyway, so yeah, I, I did use the brown only a little tiny bit because I wanted to use a lighter color brown for its fur. Um, but I did use the dark brown to do its eyes and its tip of its nose. Uh, but anyway, so here is what I made out of that challenge package from last week. Ta da! <laughs> so cute. I didn't use a pattern, I just made it up. I actually made this while standing in my kitchen one day. June was napping, and I think Jesse was just playing. And I was standing in the kitchen because my phone was charging. And the phone charger I had in there with me was the little short one. <laughs> so I had to stand in the kitchen. I couldn't like sit on the couch and do it. So I just stood there at the stove and made this little guy while watching <laughs> Vlogmas videos. <laughs> but he's so cute. I think he turned out so cute. So I did include the green yarn, the garland, the bell, and the brown yarn, technically. <laughs> and uh, it was meant to be a bear, like I said. I think I just made the snout too long. The, the length of the snout makes it look like a mouse. But bears do have snouts. They just have shorter snouts. And if I had done like one row less, I think it would look more berry. And he does have a little bear tail because I was, I was going for a bear. But I guess he's just a mouse with a short tail. <laughs> but I think he's cute. I did make him in uh, a few pieces. So so his body and head is one piece. I just changed yarns and decreased and then increased. Uh, and then his two little legs, his tail, his two little arms, his ears, and his hat and snout are all separate. <laughs> So a lot of sewing and the little garland I just cut pieces and I hot glued them. I don't even know if you can see it. I just put little dabs of hot glue and uh, made it look like his little sweater has trim. I think he turned out so cute. So it's probably going to be an ornament. Uh, it's definitely not going to be down where the kids can play with it. At least June because she could peel this off if she tried hard enough because it's just hot glued on there. This is sewed on though. I don't think she can get that off unless she was really good at you know like chewing on it. <laughs> But either way, it'll be an ornament. I think I'll just put a little hook in him and hang him up on a tree. But I think he's cute. He jingles. And it's a pretty fun little project. So I got a feeling this next week is going to be something similar because this bag. Sounds like it has a rattle in it. <laughs> this is my third bag. So that after this one, there's one more project that we'll be sharing after Christmas. This one will be shared next um, Friday, which I think is the 23rd. And then the next one will be that Friday after that. So let's open it. Oh, it looks like there's a few different colors in here. Alright, so I was right. There's a rattle. It's like a good loud one. Some of these are like real muted. That one's not so loud. Put it over there. And then it's these scrabbles. These are some interesting colors. <laughs> but um, I kind of have an idea. But we can put urines with it like like I've already been doing. Uh, so I could use this as like clothes for a doll or colors on an animal or, you know, anything. So hmm, I'll just sit and think for a few minutes. I kind of have an idea of something I could make with it uh, with these colors. And then put the rattle in there. So I don't know. I'm going to try to think of something creative because I like being creative, you know. Like this one, the colors were perfect for a Christmas tree. But I didn't want to just go that route because that's what everybody thought, you know. I wanted to... Do something unique. And I did a little bear mouse. Mouse bear. <laughs> I think he's adorable. I love him. And then this is my next one. So I've got the little rattle that's very loud. Looks like it's got two little metal balls in there that's making it rattle. And um, yeah. So I'll link Terry's channel below in the description box. I'll put these back in the bag so I don't lose them. Um, go over there and check out her channel. Um, her videos come out, you know, different times of the day, too. My hair is all kind of messed up. <laughs> um, so check out her channel to see hers. Hers will be in her Vlogmas video. She's been including it in her Vlogmas videos. Um, and see what she made with last week's challenge yarn. And then see what her new one is for this next coming week. I can't even remember what I sent her. 
it's been a while since I put those bags together. <laughs> so it's, it's a surprise for me too. But I come back next Friday to see what I make with that, those three color yarns and that little rattle. And then I will guess I'll see you guys in another video. <laughs> so, um, what did I say I was going to link below? I said I was going to, oh, Terry. Yeah. I was thinking of pattern, but then I was like, I didn't use a pattern. But anyways, I might write some of these patterns up. I've been, because I have three patterns now that I've come out with recently and showed you guys this, the ballerina mouse, and then the tree skirt that I made. Um, but if I do that, it'll be sometime next year when June is able to, uh, entertain herself a little bit more without my help. <laughs> but, um, anyways, I have a lot of patterns in my head. I just never get the time to sit down and do them. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in next Friday's video and then in some videos in between. <laughs> Bye guys.